What's up boys, it's fishing time. And today we are here at the world famous Surfside Jetty Park. Got my pops here with me. And right now we're in the parking lot. We gotta get everything loaded up on the wagon. Then uh, we'll get out there and hopefully get on some fish. All right, y'all, we have made it down to our favorite spot here at the end of the jetty. Just seems to be where we get most of our catches. And I was fortunate enough to find myself a jetty cork the whole rig already tied up from last year, so we just had to tie that bad boy on. And we are already ready to get to fishing. So we do have some nice small shrimp. That is gonna be the go-to play when we're going for sheep's head. Small mouths, I don't know what it is, but when you have the smaller shrimp, it's just a lot easier to catch them than when you have those big old guys. Oftentimes they'll just come and bite it in half. So we're set up for today. We go ahead and grab one of these shrimp and we'll get to fishing. Get him right there in the head. Just missing his brain. All right, I'm feeling good about that. I am feeling good about that. Let's go ahead and walk over. Make sure we get our drag set, yeah. I've got my drag tightened down to like maximum strength there. That's what we don't want. I definitely suggest always checking your drag. Something I'll always do is get stuck in these rocks you tighten your drag down all the way to bust off your line, kind of forget about it. And then next thing you know, you get into a fish, you make that big old Bass Pro hook set and uh, you lose your whole rig because your drag's not set. And you do want to be a bit careful when you come out here to these rocks. All of this green algae crap is super slippery. I do have cleats on, so it makes it a little less dangerous, but you still, even with the cleats, you know, you want to be careful. Even having these, I don't like messing around on that stuff. And now we just wait. It is a little bit interesting that you don't see anyone down here at the corner. That could be why. A little rough on the day. Well, that's a shame got some of that line memory from it being coiled up in that bag all year long and that's a tangled freaking mess um we might just need to tie on a new rig here i'm gonna give this another shot oh man now that's a big mess go ahead and give this shrimp up as an offering to mother nature usually i'll give it to one of the birds they're not here Something will eat that. Mother Nature can have it. We have her favor now. She'll still send some of her creatures my way so that we can uh, catch them and cook them. Whew. What feels like an eternity later, I swear, my least favorite thing to do while out here fishing is tying rigs, but finally got our rig retied. Honestly, took way longer than uh, I want to admit, but Got it done. All right, now we can get to fishing. Holy crap. That felt like something wanted to mess with it. Yep, we're on. Oh man. Oh shit, he got me all tangled up. He let go of it. <clears throat> we had something on there. Honestly, I'll be real guys, that felt kind of like a pompano. I didn't feel like your average sheep's head. Pompano will swim back and forth along those rocks, kind of like a little baby jack. We'll see, I mean, if we catch a pompano, that would be really cool. First bite though, not too bad. There we go. Time to see what it is. This is fighting a lot more like a sheep's head would. That's exactly what it is. Got ourselves a small sheepy here. I'm gonna try and just slide them up on these rocks. Really would like to avoid a rod flip. Just because of my bad 
luck on our last trip with the rod flipper ruski. That's a nice little fish. He might just make keeper size. Let's go ahead and take him over here to the board. Check him out. Dang, guys. Very close. We're at like 15 and a half. Not going to keep. Not going to keep, but that is our first fish of the day. Off to a good start. Go ahead and just send this guy back to the other side. And that's the hidden tech right there. You catch all the knot keepers and you send them off on the opposite side of where you're fishing so they can't come and get your shrimp again for free. It's just free XP for this guy. And that's how you know it's the spawn. He's got a lot of milt coming out of him. And y'all know what that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this might be a good one. Might want to get that net ready. Going for a thumbnail? You want to get that net? Want to get the net? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good. I just wanted a thumbnail. Yeah. You might be down right now, honestly. No. I don't see your cork. My cork is way out. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah. I don't even think he's a keeper. No, he's, not. he's getting there, though. He might keep. He looks a little bit bigger than the others. Let's see, let's see. This one is definitely close to the first keeper of the day. He's got the girth. Oh man, that's a fat old son of a gun. Look at his belly, man. Stuffed full of whatever he's eating down there, whether it be crabs on the rocks, barnacles, shrimp. We got ourselves a glutton, it's just not long enough. 14 and a quarter. The way this guy's eating, he'll be a keeper by next month for sure. The secret, in my opinion, is really all in the size of your shrimp. If you're fishing the proper depth and you're still not getting bites, your issue, issue is almost always your bait selection is just too big. So if you can get your hands on fiddler crabs, those are the absolute perfect size but if that's not an option for you going for just a smaller size shrimp if you're getting those big old shrimp and you're coming out here it's gonna be tough you'd honestly be better off just chopping them into small pieces there's really no substitute for just a small size shrimp it is the creme de la creme when it comes to sheep's head baits Actually, that's not true. The fiddler crab is. But uh, small shrimp is hard, hard second. There we go, y'all. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, baby. Got one. Got one. This might be the first keeper fighting like it oh oh no no swell there we go y'all that looks about big enough here, I'll let you collapse that. Awesome, guys. Our hard work pays off. It's probably about, I want to say 10 shrimps worth. <laughs> so after 10 shrimp, couple undersized, a lot of thieves. Looks like we finally got ourselves a keeper. Let's measure them real quick. 
Oh yeah. Almost 17. Yeah, that's what I figured. 16 and three quarters. All right guys, this next portion of the video is something that I always do, but I never really comment on. And uh, I don't know. I guess it could be a little bizarre for those who are unaware. Definitely looks pretty brutal when you take and you stab a fish in the head with, with the Ikejime spike. But basically all we're doing is dispatching our fish. So this spike is gonna go straight into this fish's brain and it's gonna completely kill him. He's not gonna be sitting here suffocating and kind of dying a horrible death. And that's decent for two reasons. A, it's just good for the fish. I mean, I would hate to suffocate. All right, fellas, so the camera died right as I was ikejime that guy. But as you can see, where we've got him stuck uh, is right in his brain. So when I push it in there, it's gonna hit his nervous system. He's gonna shake around, but rest assured, this guy is fully dead. And yeah, it's just better so the fish doesn't suffocate, but also the fish are similar to us where they release cortisol, which is the stress hormone. It really jacks up the flavor of the meat, the texture of the meat. So it's kind of a double whammy. You're helping the fish not die a pretty trash death. And you're also making it taste a lot better. There we go, baby. Small guy, little guy. For sure a little guy. That's not keeper. That's not a keeper kind of fight. Yeah, I can feel it almost instantly. I don't think he keeps. Just looks like another small fry. Well, boys. Although it has been a very eventful day of catching little dinks, I do believe this is going to be the last one I put in the video. Nobody wants to see me slaying all these poor little fish. Could honestly be uh, just PETA material, if you know what I mean. I would not advise doing this. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to do it. You stick your hand inside of a sheep's head mouth, they will just crush your finger off like it's a baby carrot. Let's go ahead and release this guy. And then the next thing you see should be me catching my limit of sheep's head. Fingers crossed. Man, yeah, bro. Right that would be beautiful. Isn't too horrible, right? Either that or Spanish, bro. I would even take Spanish right now. Well, I'm gonna go set up real quick. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, they're biting all up and down here, so I'll see you in a second. That was the Galveston, Texas famous. GG anglers with his comrade off day fishing they decided to head out here today we're all out here at the jetties right now for one thing really it's that time of year where the water starts to warm up and the jacks will come in and jacks are just a super fun fighting fish uh, you also get stuff like pompano that you heard me mention earlier excuse me and spanish mackerel and that's all like seasonal style fish that will show up oh this is a nice one but those fish will show up when that water starts to clean clean up and look a little more green and heat up and when you get to that perfect temperature you'll get big schools of jacks spanish mackerel aka smacks and that's kind of why we've been hitting the jetty here recently so we're just waiting on that perfect day for those fish to show up oh no all right how are we gonna do this i gotta kind of wait for a swell to come in Just rod flip them boys. Not something I would ever really recommend doing, especially if you're fishing with like 15 pound test, like myself. But uh, we got away with it right there. Let's see, this guy's looking really close. I'll go ahead and put him in the video though, just cause GG Anglers just showed up. It's a nice little bit, nice little segment. Put the homies on. Although, if you know of me, I'm sure you know of them. Ugh. Come 
Come on, brother. Give me that hook back. Give me that hook back, baby. Let's see where we're sitting here. Ooh, that is a keeper, y'all. 15 and a half inches on the button. Put them in the cage. Put them in the ice chest. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. I'm losing my mind out here. Now I got one. Might be another keeper. He's fighting good. Said this one might be another keeper. He's fighting pretty good. Taking drag. Well, y'all, this might be the final keeper for the day. We were only going after three. I'm still going to keep fishing so I can flex that I caught my limit. Oh, shoot. We got him in the rocks here. Come on out of there. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That does look like a clean 15 and a half, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he looks like 15. Let's go, boys. It has slowed down on us quite a bit here. This is gonna be my, my final keeper that we're actually taking home. Feels good, man. Feels really good. Let's get this guy measured just for a good measure, I guess but I'm almost certain that's gonna be at least 16, 15 and a quarter. Ooh, 15 and a half inches right there on the money. That is a beautiful keeper, baby. That'll do it. That'll freaking do it. Awesome, I love coming out and being able to have a solid day. I know I really do wish those jacks or smacks would have been here, but catching keepers, you can never complain. Sheep's head are a very tasty fish as well. They're always munching on crustaceans, shrimp, shellfish in general, and they just tend to have that sweet taste that the shellfish have transfers over to these guys' meat. They're really tasty. Great for catching cooks. Oh man, can I get my hook back, buddy? Jeez. Feels like another hefty one. Oh, that's a keeper for sure. I think we got to double up on the keepers here. Probably a damn dolphin. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. You really got, I mean, you just got to eat, huh? That looks really jacked up, yeah. We've already got three keepers, so if yeah. this guy keeps, I'm going to give it to Kevin and them. Oh, okay. <laughs> go, give him, go give him my fish. Yeah, I don't know if anyone would want that thing. <laughs> look at this crap, dude. I'm going to get a look at it from my camera <laughs> in a second. Yeah, he keeps. Show him that other side. Jeez Louise, man. Ah, dude, that looks fresh. I guess it will always look fresh because it doesn't dry out down there. Oh, man. Yeah, that looked horrible. Well, this guy is definitely keepable, though, if he's the right length. He looks it. Yeah, that guy surely keeps 16 inches, 15 and three quarters. Give this one out to the boys. I know they brought the ice chest out today. I've got a really good video already. Well, guys, we just brought in another one who is suspect. It looks like he might just keep. This would make my limit. I wasn't recording at the time, but I'm not tripping. Oh, no. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy, huh? Broke my knot again.
Oh man. Oops. That one, he was a keeper by all formalities and technicalities. 15 and a quarter. Right there, y'all can see it just as clear as day as I can. It's a pinch tail, 15 and a quarter inch. That is a keeper. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back just because I know those boys are just like me. They don't want to keep something that could shrink up on you in the ice chest and make that game warden some money. I guess it makes the state of Texas some money, but you get the idea. Don't want to play around when it's that close. That is a limit of sheep's head on the day. Whew. Always fun when you can come out here, put on a clinic like that. It's a limit of keepers. We've caught so many undersized chunky nice healthy undersize off camera if you can make your way out here right now bring a jetty cork get yourself a pint of those little sweet spot size shrimp and you'll tear them up they're spawning right now so the sheep's head is a free a free dinner a free fun day of fishing definitely make your way out here this weekend and don't sleep on it bring your big setups Bring some spoons because we get a couple more days of warm water those jacks those smacks and pompano might pull up all right y'all that is going to do it here for today's video just in the nick of time we had seven minutes left on the sd card i already pretty much said what i wanted to say about today's trip but uh, let me reiterate if you can get out here this weekend come and do it man it's going to be a blast you're going to expect to catch sheep's head just like that um, I'll go ahead and put the dimensions for my rig that I was using. It's a pretty pretty specific depth that you need to be fishing in order to get on them kind of consistent, consistently. But if you get that depth, you get those shrimp, you're going to have a good time. I'll try and get this video out as quick as I can before the weekend so you guys can come and take advantage of it. But like I said, man, uh, awesome trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you did, hit that like button for me. Make sure to hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And I hope you all have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.